Time for boot camp. Let's go. Let's get ready for our favorite military It's press. hard to believe these women have cancer. We don't need machines because why? We are, we are machines. Up. What? Up. Two. Up. Breast, one. colon, up. skin, Six. lung. Up. Every type of cancer patient, welcome here to Nita Kelman's Beat Cancer Boot Camp. Here we go, down, one, down, two, Tough drill sergeant three, out here, down, compassionate down. mom and medical professional in here. Breast goes through this hole, and then I'm going to be compressing it with this, it's like a little mammogram. Anita began these cancer recovery therapy workouts for about 10 of her breast cancer patients. It's now a national program. She's even published a book with the Navy SEAL who inspired the workouts. Let's go! Get the knees up, 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 up. We are not the pity party. We're not that touchy-feely support group. You're going to fit right in. If you don't belong in support groups, welcome. You're, you'll be a great boot camp member. Three, two, one. One, two, three, two. At first, it was just the sisterhood of the camouflaged pants. But they welcomed the occasional man. And after meeting Dr. Lana Holstein, Anita decided this was no longer just for breast cancer patients. I thought, this would be fun to work out with these people. And then I thought, well, you know, I don't have the right kind of cancer. I had had colon cancer. Wow, I don't want her to think she got the wrong cancer. You know, so let's open it up to everyone because everyone either knows someone or is involved somehow with cancer and it's not just for breast cancer it's for everybody you sure you're gonna use the lidocaine well I guess I will for you Pam Don't okay worry okay I'll great Pam Chess lost one breast to cancer she's convinced that Anita's boot camp helped make sure it didn't come back as soon as I was diagnosed I did nothing I, I just stopped I stopped living it was horrible and Somehow, going to the boot camp touched that again, and I felt, I need this, I need to get out. I looked forward to Tuesdays and Saturdays so I could get out and exercise and be among these women. Four. Hope Guevara joined Beat Cancer Boot Camp even before she started treatment. She's a media consultant for a Tucson magazine and says this is far more than exercise. The most important thing was that I met the women that had experienced the same cancer I had and experienced the same type of treatment I was going to go through. So I was able to talk to them and know what, what to expect. So I kind of knew a little bit ahead of time of what the chemo was going to be like, how I was going to feel, what I was going to experience. All right, time for some seated squats and down. It's really down. rewarding for me. I'm pretty careful to not show all my emotions in front of the women because I am the, the tough Sarge and I don't want them to know how much it really impacts me, but it does to see these women that had made such a difference in their lives and they emerged as someone so strong and confident from, from this whole process. And healthier. Yeah, remember my ankles are that big. I around. do remember. Yeah. Yeah. I got ankles now though, by God. Oncologist Robert Brooks treats many of Anita's boot camp trainees. Well, you look terrific. You're doing great. Studies indicate the exercise not only helps, but her program may help them live longer. I've seen really pretty amazing results. There's mounting evidence that physical exercise is helpful. Just that psychosocial support um, in some studies has actually shown improvement in survival rates. Modify pull-ups. If that's too easy, get your legs up over the bar. This isn't something I would necessarily suggest for every patient. There are certain circumstances where vigorous exercise is difficult during treatment, but I think Anita's program really allows people to sort of tailor make their program. Oh, and the program's now so popular, even a non-cancer patient they call Lipstick Linda managed to sneak in. Lipstick. You need to go reapply or are you okay? No. You good? I'm fine. All right. My blood pressure was completely out of control. See, I was on four medications. Now I'm only on two because of the work out here. I mean, there's a bunch of strong women that are, you know, have gone through cam uh, cancer and are going through treatment. They come out of here with bald heads. I mean, if they can do it, anybody can do it. And Pamela Chess says the cancer, the cardio, the camaraderie, all gave her a new world view. We had a leak in our roof and my husband was so upset and I said that should be the worst thing that ever happens to us, a leak in the roof. You just look at life so much differently and you want to live it to its fullest, you want to enjoy it. You look at the sun, you look at the flowers, you look at people differently. Life is just, you know, you just have to take everything with a grain of salt. Hey, I'm healthy, my family's healthy, that's the most important thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, 
In Tucson, Arizona, I'm Andy Field for My Generation.